This afternoon, I want to speak on one very vital necessity of life. Vital necessity. It is called the help of God. The help of God. Psalm 121 verse 1 all the way to the last. I will look up, I will lift up mine eyes from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Amen. I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help. My help comes from the Lord. How important is the help of God? Why is the help of God needed? Number one, the help of God is the secret of stability of life and destiny. The secret of stability, immovability of life and destiny. I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence, whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord. He will not suffer my thy foot to be moved. He will not allow you to be shaken. What shakes others is not permitted to shake you where the help of God is concerned. When men say they are cast down, you are saying there is a lifting up by the help of God. It's the secret of stability. It's the secret of immovability. We, we live in, the, in days and in times and in the world where many things are uncertain. Many things are shaken. Economies have shaken. They are shaken. Businesses of people shaking. Healthcare industry in the whole world shaking. Governments of nations shaking. But he said, in the midst of these shakings, if you are connected to the help of God, he will not allow your foot to be moved. You are stable. That is one. Secondly, the help of God is key to divine preservation, divine protection and preservation from that scripture. Divine protection and preservation. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade. He won't allow the sun to sight you by day. 
the moon to smite you by night. Go on. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. Whether evil is COVID evil or scarcity or hunger, it shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. That's the help of God divine protection and preservation. That help of God ensures that you are not a victim of the elements. That's the sun shall not smite you by day nor the moon by night. The environmental, climatic or weather factors are not permitted to affect you. Will you lift up your right hand where you are at this moment and say, Lord, I receive help. I apply for your help. I thank you for your help. That's right. Don't be afraid where you are connected to the help of God, the fear of evil is a waste of fear. Where a man or a woman is connected to the help of God. Number three, the help of God is a shield from shame in life. The help of God is a shield from shame in life. I will read the book of Isaiah chapter 50 and here we are in verse 7. For the Lord God will help me. Therefore shall I not be confounded. Therefore have I set my face like a flint, and I know that I shall not be ashamed. For the Lord God will help me. Therefore shall I not be confounded. Therefore have I set my face like a flint, and I know that I shall not be ashamed. Hallelujah. The Lord, the help of God is a shield from shame in life. I know we are in a season right now where many people are afraid of reproach and are afraid of shame. I'm battling to feed my family now. Someone is saying, I'm struggling. Children are distressed. Father, deliver us from this shame. How can I be a man and I can't feed my family? It doesn't matter what your situation is now. The help of God is a shield from shame in life. He said, the Lord will help me and I shall not be ashamed. The Lord will help me. I can't be confounded. I can't be perplexed. I can't be confused. I can't come to the point where I'm just wondering what do I do with my life. The help of God is the shield from shame in life. Let me add to that from that same scripture number four. That the help of God is a cover or is a shield as well from confusion and perplexity in life. The help of God is a shield. I shall not be confounded means I can't be confused. I shall not be confounded means I can't be at the point where I don't know I can't see a way out. The help of God is a shield from confusion and perplexity in life. That is, if God is helping you, there is a way out. If you are connected to the help of God, there is a way out. If you 
are connected to the help of God, He will show you what to do. I should not be confounded. I should not be perplexed. Number five. Before we take number five, read verse eight of Isaiah chapter fifty, verse eight. Who he is near that justifieth me? Who will contend with me? Let us stand together. Who is my adversary? Let him come near me. Verse nine. Behold, the Lord will help me. Who is he that shall condemn me? Lo, they all shall wax old as cement. The moth shall eat them up. Hallelujah. Who is he that contends that is fighting me? The help of God. Number five. Is key to victory in battle. Is key to victory in battle. When God is helping you, you can fight a lost battle. When God is helping you, you cannot fight a lost battle. It's key to victory in battle. He said, those who contend with me will be like the moth. They will be ashamed. They will be like moth. Hallelujah. The help of God is key to victory in battle. What is the importance of the help of God? Number six, the help of God. Is cure for the need of man. The help of God is the answer to the need of man. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 16. He said, Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Help. Listen to this. Your greatest asset in the time of need is the help of God. Say it again. Your greatest asset in the time of need is the help of God. Say it again. Your greatest asset in your time of need is the help of God. Lord, I'm looking for your help. I'm in need right now. This COVID-19 situation all over the world. I, I, I just beg for your help. And it will happen in the name of Jesus. Finally, number seven, the help of God is the secret of continuity of life and destiny. Secret of continuity of life and destiny. If you have the help of God, Satan cannot see your end. <laughs> if you have the help of God, Satan cannot see your end. Acts chapter 16 and in verse 22. Acts chapter 16, verse 22. Okay. Check one moment. 26, rather. Can you check 26? Let me see. I yeah, made a mistake. My help cometh from the throne room of the Lord. My help cometh from the ruler of the heavens and the earth. I have lifted up my eyes. Acts 26, 22. Oh, my help cometh from the throne of the Lord. My help cometh from the ruler of the heavens and the earth. I have lifted up my eyes unto the Lord. Having therefore obtained help of God, 
I continue unto this day. We can stop there. Having therefore obtained help of God, I continue unto this day. Listen. If you have the help of God, Satan cannot see the end of you. He can't. He can't see the end of you. COVID can't see the end of you. Affliction, cancer can't see the end of you. Hypertension, kidney disease, liver disease can't see the end of you. The help of God is the secret of continuity of life and destiny. The reason why you will pass through this period of lockdown, lock up, open up. The reason why you will see his end and it will not see your end is the help of God. The reason why we will see the end of evil in our nation and evil in our generation and evil will not see our end is the help of God. Having obtained help of God, I continue. <laughs> I am not stoppable by the help of God. I can't be slowed down because of the help of God. They can't put roadblock in front of me because of the help of God. I continue. I just keep on keeping on. I just keep on going. People are even wondering. They may be wondering at your life, how is this person surviving? How are you doing it? How are you making it? I just continue by the help of God. What have we said so far? The help of God is the secret of stability, immovability of life and destiny. The help of God is key to divine protection and preservation. The help of God is a shield from shame in life. The help of God is a shield from confusion and perplexity in life. The help of God is key to victory in battle where the enemy will not see your defeat. The help of God is cure for the need of man is the answer. Your greatest asset in your time of need is the help of God. And the help of God is a secret of opportunity of life and destiny. Having obtained help, I continue. You shall continue. You shall continue. You shall continue. The devil shall not see your end in the name of Jesus. What is the secret of the help of God? Number one, the place of prayer. The throne of grace. We saw it in Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16. Let's come boldly to the throne of grace. So we'll find obtain mercy and find grace to help in a time of need. I will, look, lift, I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help. The place of prayer. The prayerfulness of man is the provoker of the helpfulness of God. Your prayerfulness releases his helpfulness. To be prayerless is to be hopeless. A place of prayer. So, you are coming directly and say, Oh Lord, I apply for help at this time. I need help. I am in need of help. I am in need of help. I am in need of help. And number two is closely related to number one. Number two is the reason for number one. The attitude of helplessness. Lord, I confess that I can't help myself. We, we mentioned some, something like that yesterday. I, I confess that I can't help myself. I confess that I can't do it on my own. That was still Hebrews chapter 4 verse 16. That was still Psalm 21 verse 1. I can't help myself. I am helpless. I am helpless. I am helpless. The admission of your helplessness is the transmission of his almightiness. The admission of your personal helplessness is the transmission of his almightiness. There are no powerful people on earth. There are only people helped by God. Only people helped by God. Anybody who boasts of his own powerfulness will instantly become an animal like Nebuchadnezzar. There are only people helped by God. So you go before God and confess and let him know how helpless you are without him. The third is looking up to God. 
looking up to God. Let me put it in a way that is better. Looking away from man to God. Looking away from everything else but God. Looking away from all but God. Psalm 34 verse 5. They looked up to him and they were lightened. And their faces were not ashamed. Looking away from all but God. Is our key number three. All. All but God. You are not looking at your certificate. You are not looking at the government. You are not looking at institutions. You are not looking at nothing. You are looking at God. Looking away from all but God. All. <clears throat> Every time you are, you are looking up to man, looking up to your connection, looking to your certificate, looking to whoever, even if you are looking up to a, a pastor, don't claim that you are looking up to God. For he, he will never share his glory with mortal man. Looking away from all all but God. God gave me personal training in this area. In my years in the medical school, he showed me how to depend on him. And depending on him made a world of difference in my life. Beloved, I welcome you to this season where the help of God will make a difference in your life. Will you stand up on your feet where you are? And you are going to open your mouth and thank the Lord for his word to you this afternoon. Appreciate him for the word you have received. Appreciate him for, for his message. Appreciate him for his goodness. Appreciate him for his goodness in the precious name of Jesus Christ.